Hello, hello, familia. Welcome, welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you are new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here. Having a good time and come visit me on TikTok and Instagram because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to our oldies, but goodies. Fam, we have so many oldies, but goodies here now. Oh my God, thank you. Brows are not on because yesterday I reviewed this. I was like, I feel like this is a dupe to the Rare Beauty one. This is a brand new one because my old one is gone. It's done with. Nothing like a fresh new makeup product. So let's try these out. I want to see if we have a dupe. I have a feeling, a gut feeling we do. As you can see, my brows are very sparse. They go down, they're short, they're light. I love to do my brows. My brows are one of my favorite parts of doing makeup because they just shape your face so much. Especially mine because they're barely there. They're not full and they go down. So it doesn't really do anything. When I fix them up, it's like, oh, it's like a lifted, a uh, brightening effect. Uh, everything it really shapes my face and I love it that's why I always do my brows at the very beginning because I can't see the vision the vision is not visioning you know first and foremost I always 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 get rid of my moisturizer and sunscreen for my brows because I don't have a lot of hair that moisturizer can take over the brows really quick if you have thicker brows or fluffier brows you don't have to clean them as much oh look at my brows hold on let me curl my lashes lately I've been curling my lashes to film it just gives the face such a lifted effect huh Okay, so now let's see. Let's look at the brows. Somewhat dry. That's really what I'm trying to get at. Okay, and you can see here how sparse they are. They're short. They're like weird shaped. This is just how my brows are naturally. Let me show you the spoolie. Show you how similar they are. Look, Maybelline is a little bit taller. Hold on. No, let's do it like this. Oh, actually, no. See, they're even. The actual spoolie part, they are the same height, the same width. And you see at the very tip, there's that gel like, you see the very tip? There's that clear product. They both pull that clear product out. It tells us it's a very, very similar. Wow, it is similar. Look, it's hard to tell because it's clear. You see that? No, let me show you on my phone. Maybelline's to the left, Rare Beauty's the other side. You see how similar in texture it is? It's like a gel slash wax. It's a little thick, both sides. So let me touch, let's touch. This is Maybelline, Rare Beauty. They feel the same. Maybelline, I feel like it's a little stickier. Wow, okay, okay. What I'm gonna do is apply Maybelline to the left side, Rare Beauty to the right, and I'll give you info about it while I apply it. The new Maybelline Super Locked Clear Brow Glue retails for $10.99. This is a long lasting clear eyebrow gel to sculpt and style brows. With its lightweight transparent formula, it can be used alone or with everyday brow products. It is a non-sticky flake sweat and transfer resistant and offers up to 24 hours our hold. The also popular and viral Rare Beauty Brow Harmony Flexible Lifting and Laminating Eyebrow Gel retails for $17. This is a universal clear waterproof brow gel that shapes, lifts, and sets hairs in place with a flexible hold. Honestly, these look the same. The exact same. You can see how my brows are just so uneven. All this sparseness I have here, like a big old bald spot here. But you can see the texture of the gel is very similar. Looking at it right now, I feel like Maybelline may be gelling down a little more. But let's see, let's see. This one, when I look up close, it dries down. This one, not really. It looks a little wet, you see? Oh yeah, okay, okay. Oh, you see, now they both dry down. It's dried down like on the skin. Okay, nice. Let me touch. Yeah, this one's a little more dried down. It feels drier than this one. I am so excited. Of course, the second part of the brow is to fill it in. I'm gonna use my NYX brow pen and you see all these sparse areas? This pen is gonna let me get into those tiny areas and fill it in and make it look like, at the same time, I'm creating brow hairs so that it kind of meshes in with the brow hairs I already have. Ooh. This is the shade Ash Brown. I love how this brow gel just combs your brow hair so well. It makes them stick down. Okay, 
So step three in my brow routine is I go in with a pencil. I've been loving the Dominique Cosmetics pencil and the Rare Beauty pencil. Both of these pencils are great. They're super, super pigmented. A lot of brow pencils tend to be very waxy. That's just how they're made. Both of these brow pencils, I find that they're not as waxy. They have a little more pigment. They'll always be waxy, but it just depends the amount. So let's use Rare today. This is the shade Soft Black, and I'm just gonna fill it in. This is going to make my brows slightly darker because my brows are so sparse. I need this to give it that um. And I'm going to show you this brow versus the other brow, what I'm talking about. It's a slight difference, but it makes enough of a difference. You see how it's slightly darker? This could be like the everyday brow. This is the more ooh, intense brow. So again, all I'm doing is I'm moving the pencil with the shape of how I brushed my brows up. So you see here, I'm going to the side kind of like this, just so I don't disrupt the brow hairs that are laid down. And I just continue this method. If you go like the opposite direction, you're more likely to move your brow hairs and then the gel, you'll just have to go back and gel them again. So that's why I kind of stick with the pattern they're already here. Brows are browning. This has been my concoction lately to clean them up. I don't get my brows done. Well, I get them done like once a year. I don't get them done often. Going in with the concealer gives the appearance that you just got them freshly waxed or freshly threaded. So I love this. I like to mix both of these because they're perfect in texture. The concealer you use to clean up your brows, you want it have it be a little more on the thicker side of a concealer as opposed to a lightweight hydrating concealer. A thicker concealer concealer will stick down a little bit better and it's less likely it's going to move onto where your brow product is. You want to avoid your concealer going into the brow product because then it creates this gray cast which looks a little funky funky. I'm going to tilt my head back, get very close to my eyebrows, making sure I don't touch the product but also getting close enough to make it look sharp and clean. And they are going to look like this. It looks a little a little funky, but you know, we got to trust the process. Oh my God, I didn't share with you my, my oh my God, everything's dirty. What? Oh, it's because I'm using this dirty paper towel. The brush I use is Crown Brushes. This is like the tiniest brush you'll ever buy or find. I will link it for you. It comes in a set of five and it retails for like 15 bucks. It's very affordable. This brush is bomb. Favorite cleanup too is number 15 from Sephora. It's perfectly dense and small to get into your brow area. So now that I've let this concealer sit, maybe like, I don't know, how long have I been talking? 10 seconds? 15 seconds? I'm gonna brush and clean this and go down, right? Kind of leave it like that. I like a bit of a lighter concealer to give my brow bone a bit of a highlighted look. As personal preference, you can use a concealer that is closer in tone. And then I'm gonna get this and blend this out. Just a dry beauty blender. Or you could use your finger. And then talking about finger, I kind of do this motion, this motion. And this, my dears, okay, wait, no, we gotta go back. I left a little tiny spot here, you see right here, to fill in. And I just get my pen to fill that sparse area out. And the same on the other side. And then I wanna get my tail a little longer here, because I feel like this tail's longer. I like to make my brows a little bit longer here in the front. So I'm just gonna do this, go up and down, straight ahead, and then here too. And voila, brows, but wait, do we have a dupe? Do we have a dupe? So Maybelline right here, right here, right here, rare, right here. And which one do you like better? They both look nice and sleek, beautiful, pressed down. That's what I like. I like a good pressed down brow. They look the same, literally as I'm looking on the monitor. Do you see a difference? Oh my God. Honestly, this retails for $17, so it's not even that expensive. Rare Beauty's products are not crazy priced, and this is $10.99. It's only a $6 difference, but a $6 difference is a $6 difference, okay? Anyway, let's do a wear test. It is $10.19. I'll be here all day long. I'm gonna have a long day, I think. Catch you later. Eyebrows, okay, eyebrows are eyebrowing today. They both look really freaking good. Here is Maybelline. This is Maybelline, right? Is it? Yeah, it is. It is, it is. And then this is Rare Beauty. I didn't do anything to my brows, but it's now been about an hour and a half since I had them on. And look, look how good. I'm loving Rare Beauty. Something about the hairs are just slicked down flat. This one too, but maybe this one's just smoother. 
I don't know. Nonetheless, they are very similar in texture and application. They comb well, they lay well. We may have a dupe. We don't know if we have a dupe unless it wears well or similar at the end of the day. We saw that texture looked the same, spoolies looked the same. They just looked the same all around. They applied similarly, but the wear test is typically the, the telling part. This type of brow wax is one of my favorites because it's not gel, it's not wax wax, and it dries down and it keeps brow hairs in place. I have so many sparse areas and hairs that grow back, that go like that, that go like that. They all need to be combed this way, you know? But yeah, this is it. Let's go in front of the window so you can see. Maybe we'll see something different with different lighting. You know, this has been my lip combo all week long. I have it tagged and linked every time. Huda Beauty, YSL, love it. See at the window. Eyebrows, eyebrows, eyebrows. Okay, Maybelline here, Rare Beauty here. Ooh, yeah, Rare Beauty's bomb though. This brow, I mean, this one's good. I think this is just the better brow in general. This is like the good brow. The brows do look like sisters. So that's a good thing, not neighbors. The gel, the gel's very similar too. What'd you think? Let me know. Damn. Oh, I'm so tired. It's 11 29 p.m you know i'm serious about my wear test and i will always come back and wear test for you it's been what 9 10 13 14 hours that we've had both of these brows on but you know i got you some footage at around five o'clock to show you how things were looking i would say both brows were looking good this side the non-piercing side is the maybelline side looking really good nothing's moving around pigment on brows look great the other side is Rare Beauty. We know Rare Beauty is that girl. Things are looking fabulous too. Nothing really different at this point. Here we are now. Maybelline, nothing has moved at all. We know Rare is good. This is bomb. This brow really has like stayed put so well. Both sides together. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Do we have a dupe? That is the question. Let me look close. We definitely have a dupe. I do feel like this looks the same, feels the same, acts the same, combs hairs and keeps hairs in place the very same. I do feel that Rare Beauty looks a little bit better today. It looks neater. The hairs just like cooperate a little more. What is this? Girl, is this my dry shampoo? It sure is. Oh, girl. Okay, <laughs> I got distracted. Rare Beauties definitely looks better. Are these the same? Yes. What are your thoughts? I am just very surprised how Maybelline was able to do a very similar formula to Rare Beauty because prior to Rare Beauty, no real eyebrow gel besides the Got To Be Glue really held hairs, or at least my hairs, my very sparse, uneven hairs well. I'm highly, highly impressed by this because this is not my second time using it and it's worked very much consistently both days last all day it's been 13 hours we don't look gastadas brows are on and popping wow okay okay let me know your thoughts you guys know we love dupes here i will link and tag both of these products for you so you can shop because they are both fantastic i absolutely love them and thank you so much for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me please don't forget to like subscribe click the button right there and i'll see you in the next one bye